Hi, I'm Jason and welcome to this week's Technique of the Week. Thanks so much for being here with us. Today we're going to be showing you, we got a, a ramp sink like this. We're going to be showing you how to put a drain in this, a slot drain. Uh, you know, with this type of, of sink, it's, it looks really cool to have that, uh, where, where the water just kind of flows down. It looks like the water is going to nowhere because uh, you don't see any type of drain. So today we're going to be showing you that technique. So for this technique, we're going to need some some foam, some rigid foam insulation, uh, some sand, sandpaper, and probably uh, a hole saw to drill this circle out. And we're gonna have to get one of these uh, bathroom sink pop-up drain stoppers is what we wanna get. You can pretty much buy these uh, anywhere, any hardware store. Uh, so those are the things we're gonna need to do this. Our finished product, we wanna end up with something like this. Just so you guys can see what we're getting at. That's our finished product to screw onto our mold. So what you do is take this piece here, and we're gonna throw this part away. We don't, we don't need this. All we're gonna need from this is we're gonna cut this off about an inch and a half down. So all we need is this, this part of it. Now next, you can see here we've drawn on this foam the angle we're gonna take, and all we did there is just, just cut that out. And you can take your, your sandpaper and kinda you know, sand that if you're trying to shape it a little bit more. But really, this won't be seen that much unless you're actually looking inside the, uh, the sink. But this, the reason it's beveled like this at an angle is because the water then all runs down to the center. So the next thing we're gonna make is this knockout right here. All you need is a block of foam like this. I, I like to use a hole saw and kind of drill this so it's all one uniform circle. And then we're just gonna shape it to the same size so it comes down to this so this sits on top there like that. So we want this to be able to go over top of this, kind of screw on there so it's flush. And then what happens is with this pipe, after we're done and we want to install this, all we're gonna do is take this up inside of there. This is threaded also. So we're gonna take this and screw it up in there and that's, our, that's what we hook our plumbing then to. So next we're gonna put a real fine bead of caulking right along the top here where this is gonna sit. Make sure that you pre-drill this hole right here. If we try to screw this straight into this, it could crack it. So we wanna make sure we pre-drill a hole in here before we actually screw this down. So you need a fender washer, and we're gonna make sure that this is lined up. Then I'm just gonna take my screw gun. So this, this part here, we're gonna go ahead, it's gonna be all encapsulated with concrete here. We don't need these threads at all. So we're just gonna spray our GFRC all around everything here and kind of make this hole. And then what we'll do is after we're done, we'll take a grinder and grind this flush. And then that'll allow, that'll allow our pipe to stick through here and we can thread that on. We got our slot drain sink poured. And the other thing we want to do with something like this is put tape over it. That makes it a lot easier to be able to get it out too. So, um, so what they've already done is took a hybrid blade. I recommend these for doing stuff like this because it doesn't throw as much uh, of the aggregate, the sand and stuff, it doesn't chip as bad. If you have one of these hi hybrid ones that has it filled in between. So they just took this and ground this down so it's flush. Uh, now we're gonna flip it over and um, pop the sink out. So the next thing we're gonna do with this is just take a screwdriver and we're gonna pop this foam out of here. And then we can use some acetone or something to clean up the rest of it. The acetone will melt the, the styrofoam. So we can do that next. So now I got my piece that we showed you yesterday that, that has the little threads on it. And this has a, this is threaded. So this will just kind of thread in like that. Well, that's it for this week's Technique of the Week. Thanks so much for joining us this week. Um, if you like these videos, share them on Facebook and YouTube. We, we really appreciate that. And on YouTube, uh, ring the little bell. I don't know what that means, but Ike tells me that that's a good thing for us. So we'd appreciate it.